Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some homemade gingerbread cookies. Um, so I'm going to get my flour in the bowl. I'm going to add my cinnamon and my ginger and salt, brown sugar, white sugar, butter, eggs, everything like that and get everything all mixed up my baking soda I'm gonna get everything all mixed up and then show you the end um, what it looks like at the end and if you can tell at all the way I said it is not in the order um, of which I put it in the bowl but that is everything that I put in the bowl and of course everything will be listed in the description box below. Okay so as you can see I have my whisk and I'm getting all of the sugar especially that brown sugar mixed in very well. Then I'm going to add in my butter in pieces. It's softened. Um, I just let it sit out so that it can become softened by itself without having to add it to the microwave. Here I'm just crumbling up those ginger pieces. Um, because those kind of stick together. Um, but I'm just crumbling up everything and getting everything all mixed in. So it'll be a smoother um, cookie at the end. Okay, so I have my eggs in. And now that I've pinched off my butter and place, placed that in. And I'm going to get that all mixed in. Okay, so I've gotten everything as blended as I can with my whisk. So I bought out my spatula mixer. Um, and my wooden spoon and I got it to this I couldn't get it to um to this consistency with just the whisk alone so I had to put in a little muscle with my wooden spoon here um but I'm the step I missed is um you have to chill that mixture before you put it on the cookie sheet but the cookies turned out good either way I like to crumble up my um parchment paper before I put it down um, just so that it's not, you know, sticking so much to my cookies. Um, but that's just what I like to do. And I have the um, the pre-cut sheets. The store was out of the full sheets of parchment that I like. But oh well, life goes on. So I'm going to get those cookies scooped out and put on to my parchment paper. So let me hear and get that done for you. And again, don't forget to chill your cookies. As you can see, mine looked very soft when I got them on my parchment paper. And that's because I missed that step of chilling them before I put them on the parchment paper. Yes, my cookies all went into um, one. I can still see where they were separate cookies, but I had to separate them. And that's because I missed that step of chilling the cookies beforehand. But... Here is my cookies. Here are my cookies. My family loved them. They were just as good if I, you know, as if I had chilled them. Um, but these were wonderful, perfect for the holidays. Thanks for watching. 